everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video hope you guys are having a great day so far today's video is on a new shade of mac foundation recently i purchased this nw35 in the mac studio fix foundation i usually wear mac nc44 which is a more warm toned foundation and i wanted to try a more neutral toned foundation in mac as well so i got this nw35 so in today's video i'm going to show you a comparison of these two shades if you are interested please do continue watching all right guys this is going to be a short and sweet video on the two mac foundation shades i have right here and if you want to know how i have created this makeup look i will be uploading a video or i have already uploaded a video on the juvia's place coffee shop palette i really really like this palette so if you want to see how i've created this look you can watch that video and in that video i have some new uh, lipsticks in this range also which i have purchased so do check out if you want to find out more about this range now let's get back to these two foundations let's apply both the foundation shades on my face right now so i have this one this is the og which i already had in my collection the max studio fix fluid spf 15 i already have a full review video on this foundation recently i purchased a new shade of this foundation i have always told you guys that somehow neutral foundations work out really well for me especially in other brands i have tried a lot of neutral foundations and they work better than the foundations which have a warmer or a golden undertone but i have never tried any neutral toned foundation in mac so i decided to get the mac nw35 and uh, we will see how both these foundation shades compare to each other i'll do a quick swatch comparison first this is how mac nc44 looks like and this is a pretty good match for me i like wearing this foundation and i like the tone of it it has a slight golden caramel kind of an undertone now i will apply a little bit of the nw35 which has a more neutral undertone so this is how this one compares to nc44 nw35 and nc44 warm undertone neutral undertone so let's apply nc44 on this side of the face this is the og this is how the packaging is it doesn't have a pump or anything it's just a glass bottle and uh, the consistency of the foundation is not too runny it's a pretty thicker uh, consistency foundation texture and again i will remind you this is a more natural matte kind of a foundation i like to wear it during the summertime not during winters but it has a nice natural finish it's not too matte okay so this is nc44 you see how warm the foundation is i blend it out with a brush i really like how it blends on the skin it's super easy to blend and covers nicely it has a medium buildable coverage so if you have like a little bit of a patchiness pigmentation some of the dark spots lighter spots it covers pretty well it's not like full coverage it's a nice natural medium buildable coverage foundation and like i said i have a full review video on this foundation and you can see it gives such a beautiful finish and i love how this foundation feels also very lightweight and i love this shade match it's one of the better warm toned foundations which i have which matches me really well so here is nc44 i have applied it and here i don't have anything yet i love how this foundation looks like and i love the undertone of this i guess it's not too warm and that's why it works out how it's defined on the website it's a tanned caramel with golden undertone so somehow this tone works out for me it's it's not like it's really really yellow or too warm okay so now let's apply the other one nw35 on this side of the face the shade nw35 is also in the medium to medium deep category uh, and it is described as a tawny beige with neutral undertone which i will apply on this side of the face okay so the difference in this one is they have come out with a newer packaging they have a pump on top it's much more easier to dispense out 
and the size and everything looks pretty much the same the packaging looks the same the only addition is the pump which is greatly appreciated so i will pump out a little bit consistency and texture and everything feels the same i don't know if they have changed the formula or not but i have got this one recently so i'm hoping the formula is the same this is nw35 this one i feel has slight bit of peachiness to it as well along with it being neutral let me blend it out feels the same this looks so good as well we'll wait for a few minutes and i'll be right back and i'll show you how both these foundations look like it's been about two minutes and both the foundations have settled on the skin i don't know if i've noticed before nw35 was looking a little bit light but now it has settled down on the face and it looks perfect as well i think i can wear both the shades this side which is nc44 has a slight bit of warmth to it which i really like and i think it matches my skin tone perfectly there is no ashiness anywhere it just uh, builds up really nicely too it doesn't do look too much if you build it up on this side of the face i have nw35 this also looks really good i think when i had initially applied this it looked a little bit peachy pink to me but now that it has settled down on my face it looks pretty neutral i don't know if it's leaning anywhere to cool or warm it's like pretty neutral there's a little bit of ashiness right here and right here i think uh, with nw35 so maybe i will have to do some color correction but overall i think both the shades look pretty good what do you guys think i will like your opinion on this which one do you think fits me better nc44 or nw35 nc44 i think is pretty close to my skin tone nw35 is also pretty close to my skin tone but still it gives a kind of brightness to my skin and i like both the tones i like both the foundations the finishes are the same so you can let me know which one you think works out best for me i think i can wear both the shades so if you're close to my skin tone and you feel like nc44 is not really working out for you you can try out a neutral foundation like nw35 which looks like this so i will apply some concealer now i have the mac studio radiance concealer i have a full review video on this one as well i can link it in the description box by the way i also have the mac studio radiance which i also have a full review video on so let's apply a little bit of concealer and we will call it a day i'm not going to apply too much concealer because the foundation itself has given a nice coverage i'll just use the concealer to just clean up my eyeshadow when i had first applied nw35 after it had arrived i was like oh my god this is so off but after a point i saw that oh it looks good it has settled on the skin it does oxidize a bit on my skin I think I saw someone doing a video that they have changed this formulation a little bit. I'm not too sure about that. Probably I can try the newer NC44 and also let you know. So just a disclaimer that the NC44 which I have right now is not from the newer launch. It's from the older lot. That's the concealer done. I think definitely for this side I needed some brightening concealer underneath the eyes. With this one I felt like even if I didn't put a brightening concealer it would have been fine. There is nice amount of brightness with the foundation as well. I will not apply powder with this because it's a natural matte finish. I want this to look that nice natural skin like finish and not become too matte. So I will leave it at this and probably I'll give you a close up right now of both the sides of how the finish look is. And that's it for this video. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and you liked it. If you liked it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really really helps my channel. And if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again really soon in my next video. Bye. <music>